Hello everyone, Dr. David Perlmutter here. You know, we have talked quite a bit about ketosis, getting into ketosis and uh, how you got to do that based upon your dietary choices, etc. Uh, what's really important, I think, is to determine, are you in ketosis? And there are various techniques that are out there that people use. There are breath tests, there are urine tests, and there are blood tests as well. Uh, and each has its particular advantages and downsides. I prefer blood testing, and I'll, I'll tell you about that in just a minute. Uh, breath testing is interesting. It's certainly pretty convenient, although I am told that by and large you have to have the uh, unit warmed up, and that may take several minutes. Uh, urinary tests are also certainly very handy, where you simply uh, place a drop of urine on a test strip uh, that uh, really measures the ketones that have passed from the blood into the urine, so you're sort of depending on that. Breath test uh, measures acetone, and it's really not the ketone that we're looking for. Uh, as we've talked about so extensively, what we really are interested in is the ketone that goes by the name of beta-hydroxybutyrate, or BHB. And, you know, interestingly, uh, in the strict definition, beta-hydroxybutyrate is not actually a ketone, but it's the chemical then that we're all at least uh, trying to amplify because it turns out to have such uh, a wide array of powerfully positive effects on human physiology. So uh, I'm going to test my beta-hydroxybutyrate level right now and uh, also my blood sugar level, show you how easy that is. I went on Amazon and bought this called the Precision Extra. It's simple and fast and I like that. I did just wash my hands. I think that's a good idea. And like everything medical, you'll want to have uh, an alcohol prep. The other things that you need for this are, of course, the unit. And um, uh, you turn it on with uh, the on-off switch. As you see, it shows you that my last blood sugar was an 86, as we've talked about. And you get a couple of test strips. So you have uh, pink, which measures your uh, beta-hydroxybutyrate level. And then you have um, slightly off purple, I guess, uh, which measures your blood glucose. So the only uh, uh, fun part of the whole thing is, of course, sticking, uh, pricking your finger so that you can get some blood. Um, and you prep your finger with a little uh, alcohol. Actually, I'll use this finger, a little alcohol prep. Uh, I use, uh, I, I prick the fingers on my right hand because I do chords on my left hand with the guitar. So just something uh, I'm just going to say. So then you uh, do a little a finger prick like that, and then you get out a little bit of blood, and just make sure I'm getting enough for the test strip right here. All right. So then you get out a little bit of blood, and then it's really not that hard to do here. You just uh, take, in this case, this will be the uh, purple one, open it up, and you get, uh, you see how easy this is, it's really cool. You get the strip, and there's what the strip looks like. Notice the uh, uh, three uh, bars that it has there. All you do, you turn on your unit, you stick this, uh, you stick it into the unit uh, with the three bars going in, very straightforward, and then it's going to talk to you. And then the next thing you know is it's saying, put on a drop of blood to measure your ketones. So you simply take your finger that has a little blood on it, you put it on the very end of this, it makes a beep, and now it measures, and the next thing you know, it is testing my ketone level, and uh, I should get an answer here any second. There it is. So I come in at a 0.7. Uh, I guess you can see that. That's great. I haven't eaten, it looks like, for about 15 hours. Uh, I haven't had breakfast yet. And now we'll uh, check my blood glucose, and that's actually very simple to do. Uh, do the same exact thing. This time we're using the uh, purple test strip. You put that in with the three um, stripes going up, and then it's going to say something nice to me, which is uh, testing my blood sugar. Put on a drop of blood. Happen to have a drop of blood handy. Put that right on the strip. Did a little 
jingle there telling me that was enough. And then you wait a minute and it tells me that my blood sugar is 63. Now, uh, you know, I'm super aggressive with this. So uh, I, I do well with a low blood sugar like that. I'm not indicating you guys should strive for a blood sugar of 63. But I function very well in low-grade ketosis with a low blood sugar. That's who I am. Uh, I would say that typically we recommend people to strive for a blood sugar in the mid to upper 80s. That's reasonable. Uh, as you move to a, a more and more keto adaptation, you will find uh, that your blood sugars can be lower. And you're going to feel just great. And, um, but of course, talk to your healthcare practitioner about these ideas getting into ketosis. So many books are out there that are easy to read and understand what this is all about, what the recipes are like, and really how you can uh, be in a state of fat burning uh, as opposed to always relying upon carbohydrates and ultimately do some good things for your body, do some good things for your brain. Well, I hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Bye for now.